the tires are smoking. <laughs> Let's do this. What's going on everybody? I'm Mackie here from Driven Hard and today's really cool because we are at the Art of Performance Tour um, from Jaguar Land Rover. This is put on by Jaguar Land Rover of Monterey. It is an absolutely sunny Sunday morning here in Monterey. And uh, what this is gonna be all about is we get to try out some of the new uh, Jags that they have. Of course, they got a full-size Discovery, a Velar, a Range Rover Sport, and uh, I think that's kind of all that we get to try out. But this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited because Mrs. Driven Hard is going to experience some of the, let's quote unquote off-road, because it's not really technically off-road. We can get to that in a second. But she's going to kind of experience what going up a 38 degree slope is coming down a 35 degree slope is like. And um, I'm gonna be behind the camera for the majority of this so I can kind of get some of the shots that I really wanna get. But this is gonna be really cool, so we're gonna have a fun time. Hey guys, so this is Santiago, our, our test pilot, and uh, so we're actually gonna get a little, uh, before everything gets going, he's gonna take some of the cars. We've got Range Rover Sport, we've got a brand new Discovery, the Velar, and I guess that would be, is that another Velar or the Evoque? No, it, that's it. this is the Evoque, and the in the back is the Velar. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, so he's gonna actually run through the course, you can check out here, what's this gonna be, all wheel articulation? Yes, here kind we are going to do the articulation of the axles, the suspension. Also, we are going to test the differential locks when the wheels start to go yeah. How it off the ground. The traction is going to be lost and then we have to transfer the power to the other wheels. This is very special exercise to see the capabilities of the cars. Then we are going to do that other exercise when we have very steep angles. Mm -hmm. We are going to test the angles of attack, the exit angles of the vehicles, and also the capacity to uh, go up a very steep. Uh, here we have, as you can see there, 38 degrees on That's the steep. going up and 35 degrees going down. So it's really steep. Jeez, we um, can do it even more with these two cars, with the Range Rover Sport, because we have the low range, also with the Discovery. But this exercise, we can do it with any of the Land Rover cars. Okay, I was wondering about that, to see how beneficial having the low range will be going up something that steep. It's quite, it's very beneficial, a lot better to have it, but you can still do it with the other cars that don't have that function. Just gotta apply a bit more throttle and make it work a little harder. Yes, and, and maybe do it a, a little faster so that you don't uh, wear a, a, a transmission uh, excess heat from the sleeping clutches. Ah, all right, this is gonna be awesome. Let's get inside and let's go, let's see what these things can do. All right, guys, check this out. This is actually the hybrid model. So it's, how big's the engine on this one? This is a two liter, four cylinder turbocharged, 300 horsepower. Jeez, huh? And oh. we have another 100 horsepower from the electric motor. So, so 400 in total. We have a better response, more power than the six cylinders. Okay. And here we have it in pure electric mode. Okay. You can see uh, the EB letters there. Yeah. And also here the here. image where, where we activate these functions. So there's like zero sound. That's yes, so here cool. We don't have the engine running still. Here we can see how the the energy is flowing in the vehicle. Oh, here that's we see awesome. energy from the battery going to the electric motor. If I start releasing the brake, we should see there we see regeneration. Where oh. when it gets green. Yeah. And if 
I accelerate harder, and you will see the engine in yellow. That's the oh. gasoline engine that goes on when it's needed. Instant. Instantly, yes, very fast. Wow. And that's so, like that's a smoother startup than the start stop system on mine. Yes, it's quite smooth. That's really cool. But here we are not going to use these functions. When we start using the low range, the vehicle won't. We'll always use the a gasoline engine. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So here we're going to activate these functions, get the vehicle ready for the test. Here we're raising the suspension to the all terrain level, and we are going to select, select low range. First we go to neutral, we have to have the vehicle standing still, uh -huh. activate this function, and we can go back to drive. And we have the vehicle ready now for this test. Can we go to the off-road pages? Of course, yes. We're going to select the... This program. Mod. We don't really have mod here, but we'll have a nice response from the throttle in this program oh, for so this cool. test. So this one's going to test articulation and it's going to show you what differentials are locking. Yes. Here we see that both differentials are open, the center and the back differentials are open. For this exercise, we are, it's impossible to go through without the differentials locking. We will see it now. Yes, there we see in yellow the wheels that are hanging from the vehicle now. The suspension is on maximum extension. Oh. And now the, we can see that it's starting to slip because yeah. it is off the ground. But if we keep our feet on the throttle all the time, the car is always going to look for traction and send the power from the wheels that are slipping to the wheels that have traction. Now we are going to go up the slope, we are going to change the information here to the see the, okay. the angles that is steep oh god oh that is actually steep and we can do it with a four cylinder engine because we have the low range function right And here to go down, we are going to use an other two systems. First, we are going to do, use the gradient release control. This is just going to release the brake smoothly when I release it aggressively. Oh. And then the heel descent control will continue to work. And so to the gradient de release control, so you can take your foot off the accelerator, but it'll, or take your no, foot the, off the off brake, the brake. Yes. but it'll release the brake slowly because exactly. of it being at such a harsh angle. Exactly. Uh -huh. Always you are going to in, uh, down the slope and you are stop and release the brake. This this function is going to work. That is so cool. Let's do it. Wow. One, two, three. Hold the brake. Wow! Oh my God, that was steep. That's so cool. <laughs> Let's go to a lateral slope. All right. So I know in the manual it doesn't say there's a maximum. Yes, they because it can change based on terrain, tires, and on the load of the vehicle. And load of the vehicle. But this is the range sport, so it's really an incredible vehicle. We can go to very, very large angles, and we know Land Rover doesn't tell us what the angle is. Wow. That's, oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at this. This what? is nuts. There we are, 34 degrees. Wow. Oh man, I gotta push my truck harder. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. I can so tell you cool. that there are some tests this vehicle can do 50 degrees on the side left. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that is so cool. All right. So what's this one gonna do? Oh, this is a really uh, easier Just to up exercise down. than yeah. the one we did in the, in the start, mm -hmm. the second one. So that uh, well, every, every one can drive this part. control to work. We are going to do another articulation here. Ah. And here we can open the doors to verify there's no stress on the chassis. Exactly. Ah, cool. Okay, and that's it. Now, if you want, we can do it. Nice. You driving the, this part. So we're in the Velar. So this has the off-road cameras as well, huh? Right. So it helped me to know where the your wheels are going. Yes. And the parts that I'm going to tell you. It's nuts. So what degree can we go up to in this? Like uh, 18, 21. Okay. More or less. If you want, you can open the door. You can see the tape there. Oh, man.
right, she did not want to do the obstacle course. But basically, I was like, you gotta learn proper car control because when we go back to Canada and it's snowing, you need to learn how to handle yourself uh, in situations that are not concrete. So this should be exciting. She's extremely nervous. All right, so this is the first obstacle she's gonna go up. Brand new discovery. Driven hard. Learning car control 101. everybody I really hope you enjoyed this footage from the above and beyond tour here in Monterey Mexico put on by my friends and buddies over at Jaguar Land Rover Monterey I had an absolute blast I can literally be doing this all day long like just look how fun this is but uh, it is time we wrap up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel make sure you smash the subscribe button turn bell notifications on because we got some crazy stuff coming your way Till next time everybody, I'm Omeka, that's Mrs. Driven Hard behind the camera, drive hard.